Okay, part nine. Here we go. October 23rd today. I've been dragging my feet on this one a little bit. It's been probably, what, over a week at least, almost two weeks since I've worked on this last. It's been really cold and rainy, so I haven't really felt up to it. And I just realized I forgot my calipers again. But I am interested to know what the measurements are, so I'll be right back. Okay, so got my fancy calipers here. Let's do, yeah, I'll keep it in millimeters. Okay, it's zeroed there. So, first, total length. Eleven point nine three centimeters. Breaking everything out here. Okay. Zero that again. So at its widest, 4.19 centimeters, there it is, so 4.19 centimeters. And at its widest, sorry, thickest, it's just under a centimeter. Not too terrible, I guess. Yeah, I got 9.8 millimeters, so just under a centimeter. Um, that's pretty good, so it's more than a 4 to 1 thickness to width ratio right now. And there's still a few indirect flakes I'd like to take off to get that ratio down a little bit more, so yeah, I think doing all right at this stage overall. Like I said at the start, I think I want to get this down to a five or six to one ratio. Getting closer. If I can, as I'm working the blade here, if I can take off a flake going down that way, maybe two, thin that down, and then another couple from the other edge. And then, you know, bring the edge of the blade in just slightly and make that nice Pedernale shape. That'll flatten out this part a little bit. And then on this side, I think, I think I can shape this right here to come this way and take off that high spot. And that should get me down to at least a 5 to 1 ratio. But I want to touch up the base just a little bit more. I realized as I was looking at it, it's kind of off-centered, right? So right now, you know, the tip should be kind of somewhere up here, but I don't want to move the tip at all, so I'm just going to bring bring down this ear a little bit and then get this. I've got, I didn't really sharpen it up exactly, but I dressed it up. I made it, you know, strong in this direction and a bit thinner in this direction so that I can fit it in there and take off some nice flakes. You know, this concavity here needs to be a little bit more pointed, I guess, so, okay. This one, this flake I'm using as my abrader in there, because my hammer stones don't fit in there okay so I also have this pressure flaker which is still still very you know blunt and used up so just a 
little bit off over here. Don't want to use too much force and snap that off. There we go. Just a couple small flakes. I think that lines up better. I think my camera angle was a little bit off in the last video, so I'm hoping it's better here.
might be a little too much now, this big concave base here, but oh well. I'll just take off a couple more here and then stop for now at this spot anyways, before I, you know, until I check the dimensions. That's enough for now. I think that's looking pretty good for the base. I'm gonna bring bring these in later after I thin this down. I need to use these edges and follow these ridges, and then I can finalize that and you know bring them in and kind of maybe make them a little bit pointed, barbed, and then straight down. Yep. Still got a ways to go here, that's for sure, but making progress. I want to braid these ears down a little bit so they're not so fragile, so I don't accidentally break them on something. They don't need to be sharp. That's good for now. I need to decide how I want to attack this high spot first. I think it would be best best to come in from here first, try and take off a big one, then I can clean it up from everywhere else.
Right, here we go. Moment of truth. Need to angle it back this way as much as possible. I don't know what kind of bird that is. <laughs> Careful. I thought at the last second there, maybe I was at the wrong angle, so I pulled back. Keep missing on my swing. Try that again. <laughs> nice. Oh wow. That's not going well at all. All right, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do it like this. Switch it up, here goes. It's too strong of a platform. And I haven't been doing any indirect or much napping lately at all, so. Go back to old reliable.
Well, I really don't know what I was thinking there. That was a very foolish mistake. <sighs> rough one, rough one. Yeah, I wasn't feeling great today. I knew I, I, knew I probably shouldn't be doing any napping. You know, I wasn't feeling in the zone. It had been a while and I thought, I'm just gonna go for it. Got some good weather. That was a bad decision. Very, very bad decision. <laughs> oh, I'm bummed out about that one. Anyways, obviously this won't be going up for auction on the channel. Maybe I'll just keep it this way as a reminder of how badly things can go when you're not in the zone after you've put hours and hours of, of work into something. Yeah, that's a bummer. It's gonna stay like this. I can make some smaller points out of the, the other flakes I got off. But yeah, that's it for this one. Next, I'm gonna work that uh, big piece of obsidian down there. Try and make a Pedernales that doesn't split in half on me. Cause I do something foolish. Yeah. When those indirect flakes weren't working, I knew I should have just taken a break, but it's hard to say no. Hard to quit sometimes, you know? Anyways, enough waxing on about that one. Okay. Bit of a disappointing ending there. Sorry, folks, but as always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.